Whoa. She also said that her boyfriend was woken up by the feeling of being held down. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to say this without getting emotional, um, but we have our first YouTube sponsor. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this account. Um, I'm very excited to be doing the sponsorship for you. I will show you how adorable their jewelry is. Basically, I'm not like the type of person that gravitates towards jewelry. Like I'm more of a makeup person, beauty guru. Um, so whenever I saw this jewelry, I actually like was in shock with how gorgeous it was. I'm gonna show you guys some close up. So this clothes pen obviously has been a very trendy thing lately and I never got one for myself. So I feel like very on point right now. Um, and if you, have, <laughs> if you have ADHD like me, um, this has been so nice because I've been able to just like fidget with it throughout my day. Um, and on top of that, it looks so cute and so sophisticated. I, it's adorable. But this one, I just threaded it through my two holes and it looks gorgeous. So I'm having a little asymmetrical moment. And anybody that follows me is probably so into astrology. Um, so I have my little Libra chain. And then I have one more that I'm going to give to my mom for Mother's Day. It is a great opportunity to get a present for your mom for Mother's Day. These pieces are totally ethical and sustainable. A lot of the metals that they use are recycled and their gemstones on top of that are also responsibly sourced. They put a lot of time and effort into their pieces to make sure that they're not irritating. My ears are pretty sensitive and will heat up and get really irritated whenever something isn't hypoallergenic. They are also a climate neutral certified company. And if you have to return any of the pieces, they donate 100% of their nearly imperfect return pieces to Dress for Success, an organization dedicated to empowering women across the U.S. And again, thank you so much for the sponsorship. Okay, let's let's start ghost hunting. Okay, guys, we're on Limp Avenue. We're here. Look at that. Look at this town. It's a pretty nice Look town. This Way better than Sally's career. <laughs> well, this family had a lot more money than Sally. Yeah, I can say. tell. Bro, are you gonna bring Sally back? Me and Sally are cool. We just rag on each other a little bit. Don't laugh. You're getting too excited. Don't. I am very excited right now. To get haunted? I, we're not going to get haunted. I'm okay with ghosts. I'm okay with ghosts. I'm not okay with demons. Unless you think that there was like a demon in there that was potentially causing the depression. See, you say that, yet you were scared to stay at the Crescent. And those were just ghosts, not demons. And you Bang. were like, oh my gosh, we can't spend the night there. Bang. I don't know why we spent the night there. So, Ooh. you keep saying that stuff, but... You know, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, because there's always a brave one of the group, and there's always the Look little the scared house. one. So, 1893, is that like the number of the house, or is that when it was built? Because, I don't know. Yeah, because it's... Oh, nice. yeah, that's a nice house. That's so nice. I like this area. This is a nice area. Like there's a little coffee place for you. There is? Yeah, <gasps> coffee oh, grounds. Oh, perfect. We can go take a little light jog there in the morning. Is that the place? Um, that's too big, right? I don't know if that's the brewery. Oh, oh, I don't know. okay. I have okay. no idea. I'd say, I know the house not that big. I know it's a mansion, but like, oh, there it is. There it is. Cool. I wonder if we can go inside it. I bet that's we can. That's what they use as a haunted house now? Oh, that's <laughs> scary. Oh, man. That is, that's tough. Maybe we'll sleep in there. That's what that is. I, see, I'm down to sleep wherever. You're the scared person. I will sleep wherever, whenever. Me and all the ghosts are chill. That's right. I guess me and all the demons are chill, too. Did it just freeze? They don't, I'm telling you. The, we get, Should I go this way? the holy water is getting too close. Okay, so. GPS is lagging, which is a little weird. Has this ever happened to you? No. That is creepy. Mm, oh my god. 
Oh, okay, we just pulled up to the Lent Mansion. Okay, this is beautiful. I kind of see why people get married here now. We were talking on the way down. I was like, why would someone marry where people have passed away? But, but they, I feel like they I'm so, still don't know the whole history. Of I still wouldn't do it. But oh my gosh. <sighs> That's crazy. 33 bedrooms made by Charles Lim's father-in-law. Look at that stained glass. That's beautiful. So guys, this is our room got into the Elsa suite here. This was her room. This is honestly very beautiful. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the Lent Mansion. We are, <laughs> why did I do that angle? We finally made it to the Lent Mansion. I'm so excited. I'm losing my voice a little bit because of the cold weather, but I'm are you so ready excited. to hunt some ghosts? It is a weird feeling here. It's not as spooky, in my opinion, as it was at the Sally house. No, I don't feel those weird vibes. Yeah, we that was like in. a 10 out of 10, severe. Yeah, for sure. I would give this like a solid seven out of 10. Um, but we're gonna go explore for a little bit and just see what happens and then we'll get into more of the history. So we got to the Lent Mansion. We are in the Elsa suite and look what we found. This is, what is this? This is crazy. One second, let me turn my flash on. Yeah. Okay guys, like check rocks. this out. We're gonna take the bag out and see what's inside. Is there anything else in there? I don't see anything else. Was, was that another bag? I don't know. That's crazy. Oh, we tried to reach down there. <laughs> you guys. What is this? Okay, we're gonna have to go through and read these. Okay. So these all appear to be letters of people who have stayed here before. Oh my goodness. And just some of them are about like their experiences. What is that? Wait, that's kind of creepy. Beware kind friends as you pass by. Prepare them. Um, October 16th, 2020. Wait. Okay. So this person also talks about discovering this secret spot. Wow. This one says, bring protection with you. I don't know what it is, but 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. energy is being drained. Be careful, best of wishes. My leg was touched. We heard chairs move, coffee machine turned on. My mom got grabbed and we saw another guest walk into the hall and disappear. No BS, this place is crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> There is something negative in the basement. Do not go down there alone. This person heard creepy noises, footsteps, the bathroom closed by itself. The food was the food was delicious, but we should try to lunch tomorrow. We need to try to <laughs> Oh man. Well, this is scary. They heard a dog. Someone knocked on our headboard at 5 a.m. Because a dog passed away here too. Oh. I don't. I don't want to say it like in. The video itself just so i don't get flagged but i think you guys can imagine probably what happened there she also said that her boyfriend was woken up by the feeling of being held down yeah so this person said that their boyfriend was having a dream about the lady in white we stayed here for our anniversary and we'll be coming back I better not get no creepy dreams. You today. better i better not get no creepy dreams babe i swear to god an orb just flew past your face why, when you said, I swear to God, I better not get creep. I swear, I, oh my gosh. I just showed him the footage. That's just Mike checking up on us. <laughs> worried about it. I have a Mike or Sally. Oh no. Why you befriending all the, the ghosts? Ghost, <laughs> it's just a social media. Who are you going to call? You think we popular on the... Uh, Paranormal Pair. No, you think we're popular on the, what, what's it called again? 
On the, the I don't the ghost room. Ghost room, yeah. Is that what we named it? Yeah, I think so. You think we popular on there? I don't know. We we might have that verification. I think they like me. Mm. You might be on like the. I don't know. I don't think they don't even mess with you. Imagine if the ghosts are like, beware, paranormal pair near you. Okay, <laughs> literally all my phone is doing right now is picking up on like, shit. What do you mean? What's the mean? Don't move. Loki, I don't know if we should open this. I know. Because you know when he took that penny and he put it near that thing and it started beeping? Yeah. I don't think we should open this up. Where's that pin? In the armor Okay, just to explain what this was about, we ended up finding other people there that were there to ghost hunt. And this couple brought their son who apparently loves anything that's spooky scary, so he was there to ghost hunt too. And he found this coin and was putting it close to this EMF detector and it was literally going crazy. I don't know where the penny is. Didn't you take it? Is it in my pocket? We ain't taking that bad with us. <laughs> okay, so for whatever reason, the photo didn't even come out. The photo, look, I'm so serious. Ooh. That's never happened. I've literally had that no, thing for years. So many photos with this. Babe. You need to hand me my glasses. I'm like, you think I'm playing? Yeah, there we go. Now I take a photo. I think won't come out clean, guaranteed. I wear these on all our adventures for a reason. Smile, Mike. <laughs> okay, so I have no idea why, but this one is now slowly starting to form. This one is still I'm telling, nothing. I'm telling you. Absolutely nothing. GBG. But it took Ghostbuster glasses? GBG. Okay. Sponsor me. Y'all can go. You in, should get that patent. Y'all can go into any haunted house with these glasses. I'ma sell them. They gonna be a hundred dollars a pair. <laughs> Buy two, get one free. Uh, is, do you guys see anything in this? I'm trying to look to see if there's anything abnormal. All I see is a handsome black man. Okay, so this was a video shared with us by the couple who brought their kid. He had brought some toys in order to connect to Ezekiel, but you can see an orb in this footage, and this is us videoing to see if they've moved at all. He pretty much brought them as like a way to get the son to play with him. And I was really thankful because this family was staying in the lavender suite, and so they let us walk around. The lavender suite was home to the lavender lady. You're gonna see her in a painting here in a second, but she got this name because she dressed exclusively head to toe in lavender. So let's bring the story back a little bit. I want to stress that this family is more than just ghosts and this family actually made St. Louis what it is today. This all started with Johann Adam Lipp. He lived in Germany and migrated to the US. He became a citizen and started his own grocery store in which he sold his own vinegar and his own beer. But by 1840, he moved solely to the sale of beer and is credited as the man that brought German light styled lagers to the US. And as you can imagine, the spread of German ales over here was massive. He was shipping 4,000 barrels of beer annually and making bank. And in order to store this beer, they decided to put it in a cave. This cave provided natural refrigeration. And if you guys remember seeing the Lent Brewery whenever we were first driving in, apparently that cave leads from the mansion all the way to the brewery. And with the letter saying that they get a really eerie feeling in the basement, well, that's apparently where the connection is. Well, Adam Lim died in 1862 and he gave the brewery over to his son, William. But he was low-key kind of a traitor and actually started a partnership with another brewery. And he had his own separate life in which he married, joined the army, but then came back later after his father died. And in 1864, William built a larger brewery over the caves. This was the largest in St. Louis and the largest outside of New York with any single owner. And basically at this point, he was selling worldwide, making his father proud. And in 1868, Lint Mansion was built. It is 33 bedrooms, Victorian styled. The lower floors were offices for the brewing company. And soon he made it known as the William J. Limp Brewing Company. This was in about 1892, and he made his son, William Jr., vice president. And his other son, who's commonly known as Billy, as superintendent. He also had a son named Frederick, which was like his favorite son. And he was hoping that he would get the brewery one day, but his one son that he kind of considered to be incompetent, Billy, basically had to take over the company because in 1901, Frederick died of heart failure. 
And William was so devastated over this that he would start to see apparitions of his son within the Lent mansion. And he stated that the apparitions encouraged him to unalive himself so that they could be together. And that's what he did February 13th of 1902. So Billy took over the brewery. And let me just tell you, this man liked to live a lavish lifestyle. He would spin constantly. He was a womanizer. He was always cheating on his wife, who became known as the Lavender Lady. And he would keep her occupied by giving her $1,000 a day, which is equivalent to $3,000 today. And he would demand that she would spend it in full every single day. And so that kept her busy while he was just cheating on her. He would throw massive parties. And allegedly, one of the people that came to the parties would actually hear a child cry and discovered that he had an illegitimate son with one of the people that he was sleeping with, potentially a servant or a prostitute. And he was just kept in the attic. It was rumored that his son potentially had some sort of special needs, but all of the Lint family members are actually buried together. But there's one grave among them that's just unmarked. So a historian confirmed that that was actually his illegitimate son. This was also confirmed by a nanny of the limps and a chauffeur as well. He passed away in his 30s and there was never any articles released about his existence. So that's why you're going to see some toys throughout this video. They're out there for him to play with. And people that come here will also just leave toys there for him too. But to get back to lavishly living Billy, he made these underground caves like a whole man cave. There were swimming pools, bowling alleys, bars. It was just insane down there. And he would hold parties like all the time. And you'll see in the video that we get the most activity down there. It's rumored that they hid bits of their wealth throughout these tunnels like treasure. And even though it's completely closed off, we were still hoping to kind of find an entrance. It's never been like that before. No. Ever. I mean. So to get back to the story, Lillian, the Lavender Lady, finally divorces Billy. And this man is just not doing great. He was only granted visitation rights for his kid, which besides the alleged kid in the attic was his only child. Well, in the 1920s, prohibition began, as you probably could have guessed, and the brewery was shut down. And the brewery complex itself was sold at auction for over half a million dollars. Well, on December 29th of 1922, Billy unalived himself via gun in the office of the Lent Mansion. This by far was the creepiest and scariest of any of the interaction that we got this entire night. We had no idea, but we were there on December 29th on the anniversary of his death. I didn't put two and two together originally. So the family that's staying in the Lent Mansion tonight was actually messing with a Ouija board and their father recorded this video. And you can watch him immediately stand up and get startled. He said that it sounded like gunshots. There was also a group of ghost hunting friends there, and I'm gonna show you this audio recording that they got in that very same room. Sit cross legged, have the board sitting on knees touching, and have the board sitting on our knees. Do you guys hear that growl? I'll play it again. Sit cross legged, have the board sitting on knees. Hearing this sent absolute chills down my spine, but let's go ahead and get back to the story. So then Charles Lemp, the third son of William and Billy's brother, now lives there with his dog and he never got married. He very suspiciously sent a letter to a funeral home with a strange request about how he wanted his body to be taken care of after death. And eight years later, he unalived himself in the mansion as well, stating in his letter that in case he is found, blame no one but me. And then Edwin, who was the youngest son, dedicated his life to charity and wanted nothing to do with the Lemps or the Lemp mansion and he left it all behind believing that it was cursed. He passed away in 1970 at the age of 90, and his final order was for his caretaker to destroy his art collection and family heirlooms. And the family name died with him. It's wild to think about how William died and that all three of his kids did the same thing. So I'm just kind of wondering what you guys think happened. I mean, depression is genetic, so maybe it was depression, but still that many people in the same family is so odd. Some people think it might be a contagion in the house, or that possibly there's something even more sinister. So the rest of this video is basically Jeremy and I trying to connect to anybody at the Lint Mansion, specifically Zeke though. Um, we were gonna see if we could give him a new nickname and a few creepy things 
went down. So if you guys want to stay till the end of the video and see what exactly happened, and if anybody picks up on something that I'm not picking up on, please, please let me know. We're going to go to a place one day where they just like start spitting like that. Oh, we'd be gone, babe. What would you do? We'd never come back. We would we would give See, up this that's job. Why, that's why I'm the adventure person. Okay. I'll make a stay. So ask if it's Julia Limp. All right. Come on. Oh, get your like thumbs away from. Yeah, let it free. All right. Julia Limp, are you here with us today? It's looking like a no again. Is anybody here with us today? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So either no one's here Maybe or they don't want to talk. Don't like me. Maybe they don't like me holding it. I feel like we're kind of like mixing up our, what is it? What's our nickname? A paranormal pair? <laughs> yes. Babe, just say it. Paranormal pair. I was going to... I was gonna use the abbreviations of it and then I stopped myself because that wouldn't sound great either. <laughs> yeah, we need a better name. <laughs> I didn't Please. even think Oh We're not trending to dear Lord. On ghost Graham right now. We're not trending in the ghost Graham. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting the name. What is this ghost talk too? Ghost talk? Oh my gosh. Ghost tube. Okay, let's call it. <laughs> I feel like there's only like two right now. They're not in that much. You don't time. think that they're like doing like vlogs? No, like... no, they're a little, they're a little behind schedule. Okay, okay. And the next like, two they did years. grow. I mean, I feel like a lot of ghosts are from the 1800s. I don't know why, like, because I guess like ghosts would just die at any time. Like it just people like it could be someone who died yesterday, you know? Yeah, exactly. But I like my visual no same. is like same. ghosts like, walking yeah, around like, in like 1800s, Victorian yeah. no, <laughs> attire. Mike. You, you here with us today? Oh, man. He didn't, like, he didn't make no. the trip. <laughs> he didn't make the trip all the way out he here. Got to, he got to the Sally house, though. Baby, he's in Arkansas. I mean, I feel like Sally was just messing with you. I think Sally had a sense of no, humor. No, me and you think, Sally would never do that to me. You think Mike was really there? Mike was there with us. <laughs> he made a little, I told you he got on the ghost train. For whatever reason, after Jeremy said ghost train, my camera just shut off and just stopped working for a bit. Maybe they I, did, maybe, ghost train confirmed. Maybe they didn't want. Maybe they didn't know that we knew that I knew about the ghost train. So like a ghost Mike conspiracy. Told Mike told me about the ghost train. Oh, so you're like, oh. Yeah, they don't know me and Mike got it like that. So you're like on the inside. I'm on the inside. Hmm. I don't know why you laughing. <laughs> you saw what happened to Eureka. You were there. <laughs> You were there. If Mike likes me. Baby, we were all there. I, we Mike all saw what likes happened. me. Sally likes me. And now I got a new friend too. Zeke. Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. AKA not monkey man. Yeah, that's such a mean name. Yeah, we got to find a new name. Ah, that's what we should have done. What? I should have been like spitting nicknames. And he could have said like yes or no. Oh, do you want to go back? Kind of. Okay, let's go. All right. Okay, guys, so those are the toys that are now set up for Ezekiel or Zeke. We don't really know what his actual name was or if he was even given a name, but apparently Billy Limp had an illegitimate son with a servant of his, and he was trapped up here for about 30 years until the end of his life. And he's currently buried like at his family's property with just Limp attached on his tombstone. Apparently, a historian confirmed the existence of this child. So we're gonna see if we can connect because this apparently all of this was the attic. That's a pretty nice looking attic. I'm not gonna lie. I guess that's why it's a mansion. Well, I'm assuming that he was just like given a really small portion of this. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Give me a guess. Give me a guess. Oh, that's not gonna make sense. Give me a guess. Give me a guess. Give me a guess. Is there anyone here with us right now? Is any of the Lent family here with us right now? Very small one. Is Ezekiel Lent here with us? 
Were you trapped up here for 30 years? Was your mom one of the servants who worked here? No. Was your mom a prostitute? Uh. Okay, I'm getting the Who's gonna try to find Zeke a new nickname? Alright. Well, that is a nickname right there, right? What? Zeke. Zeke is a nickname, yeah. Okay. But if, like, if you wanted something else, like, I don't All know. Right. Well, let's just see how he's doing. Alright, uh, Ezekiel, <laughs> proper name. We are here with you today. Uh, can you give me a yes? I feel like that's slow going. Yeah. Can you give me a no? Why are you not as strong as me? The, oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Just a little shy. All right. So we're, t we're trying to come up with nicknames for you. Um, what about just a regular nickname like Zeke? Do you like Zeke? You're not really feeling Zeke, really? Mm, okay. We're not going to do monkey. Uh, no monkey. Should we give him like a superhero name? Yeah, that would be all so right, cool. Alright, alright, alright. Because you don't know about these superheroes. They nice now. What about <laughs> <laughs> What about something like Iron Man? You don't like Iron Man? Did I? Already? It looks like it's dying. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's actually really creepy. <laughs> alright, what about uh Spider-Man? Uh you probably don't like spiders with some spiders. No. When you think about these names, they're not good names. Yeah. Okay, so can you tell me what we were talking about earlier? Because you brought up such an interesting point. I was just saying because you said that you're comfortable like with staying like a bunch of people, like it's packed and like, yeah. it makes you feel more safe. Yeah, I was like, thank God a bunch of people are staying here like and that tonight was booked because yeah, I, I'd feel more comfortable. Yeah, me off more because I'm like, okay, is there like a ghost in the midst of us? Like you know those shows like and those of... movies. I feel like is there one that you can think of? I can't think of a certain one right now. No, but I like understand what you're saying. So we've been like walking around with all these people for all of tonight. Mostly everyone in the house. Mostly everyone in the house, except, except for, for people that one, are on the second floor that yeah. when we don't really know what's going on with them because we don't even hear them. They literally checked in, got in the room, and have not made a sound. So we're just like is it possible that one of them isn't real and is just like following us around? I'm like being so serious right now. It like creeps me out. But like when he said that, that sent chills down my spine. Cause we've been in a group of how many people? Like eight or nine people. Yes. So I just want to say thank you so, so much to Anna Luisa again for sponsoring this video. Seriously, go to AnnaLuisa.com, check them out, get something for your mom, one of your siblings, your bestie, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever, your partner. Um, there is something for everybody on that site. And if you're as into ethical and sustainable jewelry as I am, I think you're really gonna love it. I didn't really do an outro for this video. So this is, this is kind of it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. Come on.